This is Cindy Meniere from A Doodoo Book Creator. Today I'm going to show you how to use our dot to dot tool. To get to the tool, click on Activity Books dot to dot tool. This tool takes JPEG or ping images like these and turns them into dot to dot pages. All of these images were downloaded from my Noun Pro account at the Noun Project. The Noun Pro account comes with a royalty-free license that you can use any of their graphics for commercial uses and you can download both SVG and ping files. The first thing you want to do is set your trim size. I'm going to use an 8x10 size. The next thing you want to do is select the file to use for your dot to dots. I'm going to do one with a cat. After the image is uploaded, the dots will be placed on path number one. You can adjust the number of dots by changing the number under number of dots. You can also change the dot size by moving the number under dot size. You can make the dots bigger or you can make the dots smaller. The size of the numbers can also be adjusted under size of numbers. Again, you can make them bigger or smaller to get them just the way you want them. If you want to see how it looks without the line, you can say hide dot path and it will remove the path and then you just can see the dots and the numbers. You can adjust where the numbers appear in relationship to the dots by moving the numbers Y offset to adjust up and down and the numbers X offset to adjust left and right. You have the option of using letters instead of numbers. Just click on the use letters and it will change all of the numbers into letters. You can also do skip counting. So you can count by twos, and it'll be two, four, six, eight, etc., or by threes, and it'll be three, six, nine, or you can count by whatever you want. So if we put in 10, it'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. Another thing you can do is click on Adjust Image, and that will let you move the image around on the page, and it'll also let you scale it up or down. You can click on Show Guides, and it will show you the trim size guides and the gutter guides based on the number of pages you input at the top of the page there. If you want to add a title to your page, just click under title and type out what you want and it will show up on the page. You can drag it around, you can resize it, you can rotate it, you can uh, change the font if you want also. Last thing I'm going to do is click on show dot path and then look at the corners and make sure my dots are right on the corners so they're exactly where I want them to be. So I'm going to click on Move Dots and then just adjust the corners where the directions change on the image. After I have everything just the way I want, I can click on Download PDF or Save to Your Files. In this instance, I'm going to click on Download PDF and get my PDF. Here's another example with a pumpkin file. I'm going to show you how to use the fill function on a path with this pumpkin. I'm going to use skip counting on this pumpkin, so I'm going to change it to two. My dots are in the corners right where I want them, so I don't need to adjust that, but I do want my image to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to move it down to the bottom, and I'm going to show my guide so I don't make sure I don't put it down too low. And I think I want it a little bit bigger. Okay, I like that, so now I'm going to click on Done Adjusting. And I'm going to fill in each one of these four different paths. So first I click Path 2, Fill, then I go to 3 then four, and then five. You can unselect that path by clicking back on select path, hide the dots, and I like that, so that's good, I'm gonna go with that. And lastly, I'm going to add a title. I'm gonna put, say, uh, count by two. 
Once I get it the way I want, I can save it to my files by clicking on Save to Your Files. I can type in a name and click on OK, and then it will be saved to my files and I'll be able to use it later in the Journal Builder. You can see your files by clicking on Account Files, and there you see the file we just saved. I'm going to create a dot to dot for a unicorn and another one for a dragon. I'm going to speed up the process so that I can get these added and saved to my files. And then I'll show you how to combine these dot to dots together using the Journal Builder tool. Now that I have these three dot to dot pages in my files, I can go to the Journal Builder and add them all together. Start by switching to the 8x10 trim size and then one by one I add each of the dot to dot pages and then I click on download PDF and get my PDF with all three of these dot to dot pages inside of it. I'm going to show you how to use a couple more features with this ghost. I'm going to start off by resizing the image to get it to the size and the location that I would like. And now you note that there's this extra line. I can highlight it and then delete it. I want the lines around the eyes and the mouth to be thicker, so I'm going to select the path and then I'm going to stroke it. I can stroke it different values to make it different thicknesses. I think I like the three, so now I'm going to go and stroke the other eye and the mouth also with three. I can deselect the mouth path by clicking back on Select Path, and now nothing is highlighted. I'm going to use letters for this dot to dot. I'm going to adjust where the letters are by clicking on the number X offset and number Y offset to get them to just the right spot where I want them. Then I'm going to add a title and download the file. The dot path automatically goes on path one, but that might not be the path that you want to have your dots on. So like in this example, it showed up on the star instead of the tree. So I'm going to highlight dot path two, which is where I do want it, and click on make dot path, and now my dots move to the tree instead of the star. Again, I can resize the image, I can move the dots around, I can add a title, and then I can download the file. If you have any questions about how to use this tool, please leave a comment below or ask them in our Facebook group.